of static cross the screen as she strums her guitar. Suddenly, you spot something. Right as she says the word sister, she smiles. It could be something, it could be nothing. Gameplay as you make your way through the various parts of Albatropolis. You'll be solving puzzles and slaying penguins left, right and centre, then out of nowhere you'll be rocketing through the sky taking on wave after wave of enemies. Oh. Being an open world game, it is prone to game breaking glitches and bugs like other games of the same genre. Some of these glitches can work in your favour though, like the ones I'm going to show you. Hello and welcome to Worldwide Gaming. I'm your host Ryan, and today we have a bunch of content for you. Liam is reviewing her story, Jared is reviewing Rocket Birds, and Aaron is showing you some glitches that you can try yourself in Borderlands 2. All that after the forecast. The next LEGO tie-in game, LEGO Marvel's Avengers, follows the storyline of the two Avengers films. While there has already been a LEGO Marvel game, this one promises to expand on the amount of characters available to the player, with over 100 more than the last game. It's releasing January 26th for last and current gen consoles and PC. The next entry in the popular fighting game franchise, Street Fighter V, is coming out in March for the PS4. Featuring updated graphics, rebalances to gameplay, and new mechanics. Unfortunately for Xbox One players, they won't be able to play the game, as Capcom have partnered with Sony for this one. The game will be available on PC, however. Mother Russia Bleeds is an upcoming ultra-violent beat-em-up, set in an alternate 1980s USSR. Up to four players go on a drug fueled rampage through Mother Russia. We had a chance to check this game out at the last E3, and it's safe to say that fans of beat-em-ups should definitely check this out when it releases in 2016. In a dimly lit police station, a young woman joyfully sings about drowning her sister. Lines of static cross the screen as she strums her guitar. Suddenly, you spot something. Right as she says the word sister, she smiles. It could be something, it could be nothing. You type the word sister into the search bar, and a few new videos show up. You're getting closer, you can feel it. The story before you is starting to make sense. But this isn't your story. This is her story. Released earlier this year for PC, Mac, and iOS, Her Story is an interactive detective game from the designer of Silent Hill Shattered Memories, easily one of the most underappreciated games of recent memory. It's a unique interpretation of point-and-click puzzle games, where you play as an anonymous user working their way through an archaic police video database, wading through the events that led up to a mid-90s murder. You do this by putting keywords and phrases into a search engine, which brings up a series of police interview tapes which contain that word or phrase. As you watch through them, you'll start to form a picture in your mind about the preceding events, suspects, and motives of the people involved. It's like a large, intricate jigsaw puzzle. You slowly put it together piece by piece, illuminating the larger picture as you go. At first it's disorienting, jumping between somber confessions and happy recollections, but there are a few basic features which make piecing together the central mystery a little easier, including the ability to tag clips and save them to a personal library. The interface overall is still clunky and a little frustrating, but this can be attributed to the time period, which puts an emotional barrier between you and the woman in the videos. Without direct interaction, it's hard to empathise with her, and therefore easier to take a colder, more analytical stance on her statements. It's a pretty unique experience, and it's this novelty that is her story's strongest suit. As a video game, trawling through clunky technology and staticky videos can hardly be called fun, but the experience of sorting through this mystery, especially when bringing in elements outside of the game itself, positions it as a fairly interesting experiment. If I were to be a reductionist, this is essentially a hypertext novel in the guise of an interactive film, in that there is a continuous plot in which each part of the narrative is accessible from any other part of that narrative, as long as you know the proper navigation protocols. In this instance, 
Those protocols are the names and events which are casually mentioned during the interviews, which allow you to begin to form your own personal timeline of the events presented to you. There is a lot to keep track of, so it's actually quite useful to keep a physical pen and paper handy, so you can keep track of the various relationships, events, and pieces of information involved in this tale. This intersection of physical note-taking and virtual video investigation really is a unique dynamic and gives the whole experience a really novel amateur detective vibe. Although it's set over 20 years ago, her story also utilises modern internet culture in some really interesting ways, by encouraging message board discussion and theorising between friends to help solve the central mystery. By doing this, her story builds an experience outside of itself, which really adds to its longevity and engagement. The way the game presents itself also builds on this idea. Aside from a brief title menu, every element of the game is contained within the virtual space itself. Tutorials and notepad files, and the options menus presented as a system preferences application, for example. Essentially, you're using a computer to play a game about someone using a computer. This allows for a lot of one-to-one -one interactions, which just feel really satisfying, in the same way that hacking into email accounts in the original Deus Ex did. While its AAA contemporaries continue to struggle for this illusory notion of realism, her story has no trouble making you feel like the character you're playing, at least mechanically. This also means that her story's narrative is directly tied to your in-game actions. Plot twists are dished out at your own pace, in the form of new information about the couple, their relationships, and their lives. One simple statement is enough to blow the case wide open, or it could be missed entirely. And this is essentially her story's divisive point. You have to work for the story here. There are no big cutscene reveals or easy answers, and the story is really all her story has to offer. This reliance on player involvement will draw some players in, but will also turn plenty away. There's not even a definitive ending. The game simply asks you if you're done, and then the credits roll. But that's kind of the point. The plot you form in your head isn't necessarily the correct one. Just like in life, it's one subjective possibility in a messy collection of conflicting motivations, relationships, events, and people. Finally, uncovering this plot is done through an interface which ties setting and mechanics together in a really interesting way. Working your way through the database, you can see some subtle reflections on the screen, as well as hear the buzzing of fluorescent lights, the humming of the computer, the hum of some other kind of machinery, and the tapping of the keyboard when you type. It's a really fascinating sound design, and pairs well with the sounds of your own computer running and keyboard tapping. The interface too justifies the jarring feel of jumping between video clips, moods and outfits, but can be a little frustrating. There's just a few too many forced design decisions that restrict your navigation and uncovering the story in some rather obvious ways, like the way that only five clips can be displayed at any one time. However, the game's attitude towards letting you find your own path really is quite admirable, as there's no Zelda-like puzzle soul chime when you find an important clip. It presents a story, disjointed and broken, and allows you to make your own mistakes and revel in your own victories. They say history is determined by the victor, but the history behind her story won't be determined by anyone except you. Its central mystery has that rare quality of making you think about it outside of your playtime, and provides a unique experience that is hard to find anywhere else. Finding out what happened in that dark period during 1994 is easy enough. The real challenge, as always, is finding out why it happened. She knew that instant. The look on his face. 